What are some of the important dates in your life? Birthday, wedding anniversary, family reunion, day of baptism, etc. We all take time to prepare for those events. Even there is a very special day for this earth, for the creation of this earth. Sabbath is called the memorial of creation. God created everything in six days. And on the seventh day of that first week, He not only finished creating, but He also rested and set this day aside. How are you preparing for the Sabbath? The first reference for the preparation for Sabbath is found in the Bible in Exodus chapter 16 verse 5. When we come to Exodus chapter 16, we see the children of Israel coming out of Egypt and they are now in the wilderness and God taught them a very significant lesson about preparation for the Sabbath. Come with me to Exodus chapter 16 verse 5 and it shall be on the sixth day that they shall prepare what they bring in and it shall be twice as much as they gather daily. On the sixth day, God commanded them to gather manna twice as much because the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. And God gave this arrangement for the next 40 years. Can you see how God prepared them every Sabbath? Fast forward a thousand years. Now we come to the time of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 19 gives us how they prepared for Sabbath during the time of Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 13 verse 19 says, So it was at the gates of Jerusalem, as it began to be dark before the Sabbath, that I commanded the gates to be shut. We see Nehemiah taking steps in preparation for Sabbath to close the gates of the city of Jerusalem before sunset Sabbath. Here Nehemiah was following the instruction God gave to Moses in Leviticus chapter 23 verse 32 that we must observe Sabbath from evening to evening. Dear friend, how is your preparation for Sabbath? Ellen White tells us in Testimonies, volume 6, page 355, that all preparation must be completed before Sabbath begins. Jesus is the Lord of the Sabbath. And this Sabbath, He is waiting to spend some quality time with you and with me. May this Sabbath be a time of sanctification, and a time of refreshment with Jesus, the Lord of the Sabbath. God bless you.